Hi folks, Toad here with Visordown.com coming to you from the launch of the 2020 Kawasaki Z900. So the Z900 has been steadily evolving and this is the latest version with a almost ZH2 styly front headlight arrangement. Um, we have been out and about since about half nine this morning, clocked up uh, probably 100Ks so far with some filming and photo stops uh, involved as well. I was lucky enough to ride the old Z9 just a couple of weeks ago, um, so comparing the two has been fairly easy. Um, really there's not huge changes. Um, the Z900 is a massive model at home and abroad for Kawasaki. So it's one of those things where they're not going to go drastically bringing in rafts of changes. So it's kind of just little tweaks here and there. And the main points are uh, the bike has now got riding modes. So you've got a rain, a road, a sport and a user configurable one. Um, it's also got traction control which is switchable and engine power modes as well. Which you can sort of manipulate and adjust and switch between on the fly which is all very nice they've also improved the throttle response um, so they've smoothed out the fueling a little bit um, and it is a very civilized machine to ride um, the throttle response is noticeably better than the old Z900 not that I found it particularly annoying it wasn't it wasn't one of those bikes that you got on it and you you instantly dislike the connection between the uh, the throttle and the throttle butterflies but um, it is it is smoother uh, it's putting out about 125 horsepower um, from the four-cylinder engine which has been slightly changed and slightly fettled but nothing too drastic but it's a, a lovely a lovely little thing it's very not quite as torquey as something like a street triple but it's got a really really nice linear power delivery um, which is great on the roads we've been riding today it's just been sort of switch back hairpin after switch back hairpin and you can basically leave it in like third gear and just ride ride round on the uh, on the power and the torque curve because it's very very linear um, comfort's good so the seat has been changed this year um, like I said we've been in the saddle for a fair few hours and yeah, I've got no aches or pains whatsoever. And the ergonomics of the beast are, are very good as well. This is gonna be, well, a bit of confliction here. Kawasaki in the press conference said it would be in dealers early spring, although the UK PR representative has said that it's gonna be sooner than that. So the best idea if you are looking to hop on the new Z9 is to have a word with your local Kawasaki dealer. And it is priced at 8899 I think, considering it's got the extra riding modes, it's got a slightly revised style to it, um, and also the improvements to the throttle response in the engine. I think it's only about 350 quid more than the outgoing model. And when anything brand new is within 500 quid of the previous version, it seems like pretty good value to me. We'll get a full video up pretty soon, but those are first impressions for you.